episode 9, I said to have many different connections, not just to the originals and also the prequel trilogy, but also Star Wars Rebels, as well as the Legends slash Expanded Universe material by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that a lot of people are really curious about when it comes to this film is, of course, exactly how J.J. is going to utilize all of the different cameos from the originals, prequels, and Star Wars Rebels into this movie in order to move some of the characters forward, like Rey and Kylo Ren, as well as in order to help some of the characters in this story within the second and third acts of the film. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this movie, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very intriguing indeed, involving Rey and Ezra Bridger. Specifically, a description of Rey on a battlefield in front of a large First Order building, where it's described that dozens of stormtroopers and resistance fighters are seen fighting in the background. It's said that Rey is using her lightsaber to deflect some of the blaster fire, where it's said that she takes a shot in the shoulder and drops her saber hilt, where an explosion nearby causes it to fly across the field. The next goes over the character codenamed E.B., who is said to be Ezra Bridger, using the Force to take her saber off the ground and throwing it back to Rey. It's described that the E.B. character is wearing a green vest just like Ezra, and appears to be in his mid-50s with long, wavy black hair. It's said he gives a wink to Rey and moves on into the battle, where he hops on a speeder and it's described that he also has a lightsaber hilt strapped onto his belt. Now, what's really interesting about all of this is that this is also another example of, of course, J.J. Abrams using, of course, some of the cameos that will be inserted into the movie in order to move some of the characters forward into the story like Rey and Kylo Ren. Now, in this scenario, this takes place within the third act of the movie, in which Rey is trying to defend herself against some of the other stormtroopers that are actually dubbed as the Red Fury. Now, these are actually the Red Stormtroopers that are going up against the Resistance in front of the First Order Headquarters on this large battlefield that takes place that is said to be inspired by, of course, the Beach of Normandy from World War II. So, I want to go over this character code named E.B., who is said to be Ezra Bridger, and actually does have an interaction with Rey in this particular sequence within the third act of the film on this major land battle. Now, there's a moment in which Rey actually gets shot in the shoulder by one of the stormtroopers. Now, I want to point out something here. This most definitely, without a doubt, is a parallel to when Leia gets shot in the shoulder, I believe, in, of course, Star Wars Return of the Jedi, when she's on the forest moon of Endor, right near that base where a stormtrooper takes a shot at her. Very similar situation here, except in this scenario, Rey drops her ignited lightsaber and it actually flies away from one of the nearby explosions, where the character codenamed E.B., said to be Ezra Bridger, actually comes in and picks it up by use of the Force and throws it back to Rey as he gives her a wink and rides away on his speeder. So this seems like a very nice little moment between both Ezra and Rey, where you have a Star Wars Rebels character entering into battle and helping out a sequel trilogy character that was obviously created by J.J. Abrams. Now, we do know that this film really has a lot to offer and has a lot of these cameos coming into play here in order to move some of the characters like Rey and Kylo Ren forward into the story, as well as helping some of the characters. And this is a great example of just that. We have a moment in which Rey gets shot in the shoulder by a blaster from one of the stormtroopers. She drops her saber hilt. It gets pretty much, you know, thrown away in mid-air from one of the nearby explosions, where this character E.B. helps her out by using the force and taking it off the ground and throwing it back to Rey, where they both have a little moment, you know, in the actual battle, a little pause, if you will, of, you know, pretty much looking at each other before they move on back into battle. So, we do know that Maz Kanata has a band of pirates in this movie, and that a lot of the characters associated with past content related to Star Wars is actually going to be a part of Maz Kanata's pirate gang. Now, what's great about Maz Kanata in this film is that she is going to have a large role in the film in comparison to what she got in, of course, The Last Jedi. It's actually said that she even has a bigger part than what she got in The Force Awakens. So there is that. And I think that the fact that they are using this movie as a way of having our heroes calling all other heroes around the entire galaxy to help them out to go up against the First Order and Supreme Leader Ren 
it tells us that they really need all the help that they can get and everybody that's around the galaxy to pretty much group together and go up against the First Order, I think is brilliant. Now, the third act of the film is actually said to be a mixture of both, of course, Return of the Jedi and, of course, the ending of Rogue One, as well as Revenge of the Sith. That's how action-packed and how action-heavy the very end of the movie really is going to be. So, as long as it's not too overexposed and it's written well and executed perfectly, I think that this really does sound like a scene that a lot of people are really going to enjoy. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.